good morning happy vlogmas day 23 we're going to try today for the third time to go to the funko pop store in hollywood to try to do our custom pops uh as you may recall it was last weekend i believe that we tried to go for the first time and they there was like such a long line um, because we went like later in the afternoon and then we tried to go on Monday, but we didn't actually like actively go there because I checked, but they were closed. So we're going to try going in today and hope for the best. Um, but I won't be as, I mean, I will still be upset today if it doesn't work out, but I need to put on makeup anyway, because I'm going on a podcast later, um, a video podcast. So I need to have makeup on, but it's not till like 630 it's 9 20 right now so i probably will have to like retouch and i'm gonna actually put on face makeup which i haven't put on face makeup it's been you know that thing which it's been 84 years that's me um i don't even know the last time i put on face makeup just because obviously like with my mask on there's no point in putting it on because it just i know it just doesn't allow your skin to breathe even if i'm going somewhere to like take a picture um, but yeah, and I haven't gone to like out to dinner or like anything like that. So there's just been no need to put any kind of makeup on. So I'm just going to show you my literally three product makeup situation. Um, I'm going to start out with my brows. This is the Coco Kind Full, Full Brow Balm, Eyebrow Styler and Treatment for Healthy Brows. It's made with coconut oil, um, and jojoba seed, beeswax, cacao powder. So it looks like this, it's like a tinted um, thing. And I just like it because my brows are already pretty like thick and good on their own. So I literally go in with this, like with my fingernail. This is like kind of gross, is it? And I just put some on like that. I'm gonna take a little spoolie and I just brush it through and it just helps them stay down. And I mean, it basically just looks like my brow, but better. Like you can't even really tell, like this one just looks a little more groomed, but like I don't, I used to be big on like filling in right there, but now I really don't care, so. And when I say I used to be, I mean like in college when I was like at the peak of wearing a lot of makeup when I would wear like a full face every day. So now we don't do that. Even if I, you know, there wasn't a pandemic. I really don't wear that much makeup anymore, which is crazy because I used to be obsessed and I used to wear so much. This is also even weird for me that I'm like sitting down and doing this, but I figured it was the best way to show you what I'm doing because normally I stand up like at the bathroom mirror and do it, but I figured sitting down would be easier. So that's all for the brows. Um, then I'm gonna take some of this RMS, it's the Master Radiance Base Highlighter. This is the Rich in Radiance shade. I got this gifted to me um, through an influencer campaign. Um, so I have like an Instagram post up about it but i just take it it's very very pigmented and very rich you can see um and i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my eyelids that's that just gives a little a little shimmer um if I was going somewhere and I was putting something on my face, I would also be adding this on my cheekbones. I'll probably do that, like I said, later before the podcast, just so I don't look totally like dead on the camera. Um, but now this is the Kosas Mascara. I got this. Um, I actually opened this up. I think it was like in one of my first Vlogmas videos. It was in like a set from Kosas that I got. And I really like it so far. basically that's it i'm just gonna put a little actually on the bottom too it's 
weird because I haven't used, this is like the first time I pulled out this mirror in probably like two years because I literally will just like stand up and do my makeup um, in front of the mirror if I'm going somewhere because when I am going somewhere with makeup on, it's like not a like whole production usually. It's usually like this much plus like a little bit on my face. And I got it on my lid. Yeah, that's it. Really fast, really simple. Um, yeah, that's really, that's really it for my makeup. I just don't, yeah, I don't really put like any effort into it anymore. Um, just because I don't really go anywhere. So that is that and hopefully the next time i check in with the video it is not going to be me being like well we couldn't get in or something so let's hope for the best so foggy sorry our windshield is a little dirty but there's universal you can like barely even see it well there it is it's so foggy out right now for So we've been in line for almost an hour. We have not moved because they just opened. I just went up to the front to check. And uh, we'll see, the line is longer than it was when we came here on that Sunday. So, but I feel like that's because also people knew that they weren't gonna get in, so they cut it off. So we'll see. So basically we just waited in line for like an hour and a half, almost two hours and now we are in the line for the pop yourself and that is going to be another like two hours but we can leave and come back so that's what we're going to do cafe gratitude so i'm hungry got my food i got the i am glorious sandwich and a matcha this is the wrap it's like a chicken caesar but with tempeh instead of obviously real meat. All right, the time has come. We're going back over now. It has been almost two hours since we left. Um, and have been like in the car getting our food and stuff. Now we're walking back. Hello, we are home now. And I'm going to show you the pops in a minute, but First, I have a very exciting package that I've been waiting for. Not actually for very long. Um, I actually ordered this on, I don't remember what day, but it was one of the days that I was doing Vlogmas and it is from a ceramic artist. I'm so excited. In Canada, the company is called Third Wheel Ceramics. And I got this very cute, oh my God, I'm so excited. I hope there's no like cracks or anything on it. Um, I can't even talk so I'm like so excited. It is a really cute holiday mug and I am so freaking excited to, this is dangerous drink my coffee out of it oh my god it is so beautiful i'm freaking out look at this oh my god i am obsessed with it it's so cute and like two of them have little bows or just one of them has a little bow this one I like her the best they all have little smiles and like oh my god I love it oh cute it says hi Jacqueline thank you for your order hope you like your new mug happy holidays heart TWC it's so beautiful I love it I'm gonna drink it out of it all year round it's so cute. I think this is the 18 ounce mug. And I just love, 
ceramic pieces like this, like this mug that I drink out of a lot. This one is from, um, it's called Double M Pottery. They're actually based locally. They're based in Laguna Beach, I believe. And I love this mug so much. I drink out of it like literally almost every day. It's so cute and I just love it. I love the pink, obviously. And I have so many mugs that like it's a problem. But this is just so beyond beautiful. I had to I had to order it when I saw that they were doing a holiday sale. I was literally waiting. I feel like I must have talked about this because I was like literally waiting for it to be available. I'm pretty sure it was the day that it was the holiday taste test vlog. Um, the holiday drink taste test that I did with Bill. Um, because we were driving there and I saw that their website was like live. Um, and then when I got home, the items were available for sale. But I mean, oh my God, it's so, it's so cute. I love it, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay, goodbye. Hello, switching up positions now. We've moved to the floor to show you what we got at the pop store. So I will insert some footage here while I talk about our experience, but it was really fun. We got there at 9.50 a.m. or we left here at like 9.50 a.m. So I think we got there, it was like 10.10. 10. Um, we got into line and at around 11, like close to 11, I went up to the front to see if like things were gonna start moving because what I had heard when we went there a week ago was that the line opens up for the pop yourself like they start taking the reservations for that at 11 but the actual store opens at 12 to shop and um so it was like right after 11 when that happened and then i saw that like they were asking like there was an employee that was asking people if they were going in to do the pop yourself and a lot of the people at the front weren't so i have to assume that a lot of people were doing like buying limited edition things. I think Bill said that there was like some pop that was like released today. Um, so I feel like a lot of people were doing like buying and reselling and also it's like obviously two days before the holidays. But later I heard that the first people got in a line at 4.30. So, I mean, yeah, it was just, it was a long day. So it's now four o'clock and we just got home like 10 minutes ago and um, so the whole day we picked we picked up our pops at 2.45. So got there at 10, picked it up at almost 3. So that is that. But we were able to go into the store. So basically how it works is we waited in line. It was almost 12 o'clock when somebody came up to us and um, got our information for the pop yourself. Because if you... And then you had the option from there if you wanted to stay in line and wait to get into the store then or when you were waiting um, for your pop, you have the option to go into the store. So that's what we chose to do. So we, after we gave them our information around 12, we left and um, went to go get, we each got something to eat and a drink. And then we came back and I, We'll double check what exact time it was, but I think it was closer to, uh, Bill, what time did we actually get in? To the store? Yeah. It was like 2.30? Yeah, it was like probably 2.30 that we actually got into the store. So it was like almost, but it, we got into the like pop yourself area, like close, it was like probably like 2.05 or like 2.10. So. And then the actual like pop making only takes a few minutes, but you have like time, you can go into the store. So we did that and this is what we got. These are both for Bill. Um, this is a super, is it Saiyan? Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan Gohan. Um, but basically they have, as I just probably showed, they have a lot of different sections of all the things. So they have like, anime and games they have a harry potter section they have a stranger things section they have horror movies they have game of thrones they have dc marvel disney um i'm sure i'm missing some but they have a bunch of different sections of like all of the different aspects of you know the pop universe that are available um and then bill also got this charmander which is cute and then obviously, oh, and then we got these chocolates. 
but they actually uh, overcharged us for, so then we had to get that fixed. But everything was actually 20% off in the store, so that was actually a good deal. So I feel like that was also probably why people were in like doing a lot of shopping because everything was on sale. Um, but drum roll, please. Our pops. Here I am. You can see the reflection. Sorry, maybe I'll take it out to show. But it's so cute. It has your name. So, and I'm also going to make a TikTok of my whole experience doing this. So I'll also include that. But here I am. Oh my God, I'm so cute. Wow. <laughs> Do I look alike? Um, so I think she's really cute. Hello, Jacqueline. Yeah, and then obviously it says Jacqueline White. Like, he's trying to not show it up. And then Bills. Is it okay if I take yours out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wanted to check. And then we have Bill. I just break your head off. And he's holding a little game controller. So cute. So yeah, I love it. I think it was definitely Bill. Do you think it was worth it? 100%. 100% worth it. But you were skeptical. You were a little skeptical. I was skeptical. You were skeptical when we were like in line, when we were, you were tired, you hadn't had any coffee yet. Right, but I did not know the breadth, the breadth, the breadth? Breadth. No, breadth, like bread. I know, I know. <clears throat> I did not know the breadth of all the, you know, stuff. Like, I did not expect it to be as big inside as it was. Yeah, so, like, you think that even if we waited in line just to get into the store, that would have been worth it? Yeah, yeah, it would have been worth it, definitely. Yeah, because it was just so cool to see, like, all, and they have, like, also, it's not even just the pops. Obviously, they have, like, shirts, and they have, like, just so many and then they had that whole limited edition section too right the limited yeah. edition they have oh they had sports exclusive yeah exclusives they have like so many different things so even just to go into the store is really cool but just like be prepared that like you're going to be waiting in a line and also they have setups um that you can like normally i think like sit and like take photos like you can like sit and take a photo with um on like a throne where there are like villains around you and like different things like that. But those are obviously not available because they can't like, they wouldn't have someone to like be sanitizing them all the time. But then you also get to pick out um, stick a uh, like set of stickers with each order. And so I could like put one of these onto my shirt. So maybe I'll do that, but maybe not. I don't know. I'll probably just hold on to these cause I think they're cool. Um, so yeah, that was our experience. Oh, and these are each $25 and you can do two per person. So that's actually cool because I was like worried and I was like, maybe I'll just come back one day and I'll do this just like, because this was really like our last, I feel like this is like our last chance day to be able to do it just because of his work schedule, because he works till four, like it wouldn't be realistic to go there at like 10 o'clock another morning, um, or even earlier. So I was even like, oh, I can make one for you. So, but I'm glad we got to do it together and then walk around the whole store and it was so fun. And I, people were also, they were really good about, um, like I saw employees like checking people with their masks on and stuff. Um, so that's good. And yeah, I think it was worth it. Really fun. I mean, you can do this at the, obviously this is at the one in, um, on Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles, but I think you can also do this experience at the headquarters, which is where? Seattle maybe. Seattle maybe, don't know. Um, so yeah, that's all. And it's time for us to go watch, what's the name of the movie? Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. We're gonna go watch that now. And then I talked about this earlier, but I'm going onto a podcast later. So I actually have to get ready for that too, probably while we're watching the movie, cause it's in like two hours, so. That's all. Peace. I just finished up my little, close this, little podcast appearance and now I'm just making dinner and we're gonna finish up the movie, edit my video, do all the things that we do. Um, 
yeah, that's basically it. I think I'm going to call it a night from here because I feel like I got a lot of footage and did a lot of talking about the Funko Pop experience. So I will see you all tomorrow on Christmas Eve.